Welcome to the Carbonite Jedi, where the Force will be with you always. I saw an article today from StarWarsNews.net that came out a couple of days ago, and it talks about the new TV series that are coming on. Which ones are, are still on? Because I know that a lot got like canceled. So let me share out my screen. So there we're showing the Bad Batch, the Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, Tales of the Jedi. And it says, updated, the Bad Batch Season 3, which I know a lot of people like, uh, and Tales of the Jedi Season 2, confirmed for 2024, along with the Acolyte and the Skeleton Crew, and or Season 2 moves into 2025. Okay, I'm I'm all right with Andor moving into 2025. <laughs> it, it didn't catch me. I know a lot of people liked it, but you know, it, to each their own. Everybody's got their own opinions, and and uh, that's what makes the world go round and make everything interesting. So it says update in a new press release from the Walt Disney Company. It's been confirmed that Star Wars: The Bad Batch season three and Tales of the Jedi season two are still set for a 2024 release on Disney Plus despite previous reports to the contrary. Yes. You may find our original story covering this below. Uh, uh, and it says we are disappointed. Where They also pointed out reports on Andor season two where it's moving into 2025 due to strikes. And Disney given other Star Wars shows time to breathe. Um, it says, in a new press release from the Disney Plus UK, the platform has provided a list of some of the titles we should expect from 2024, including Star Wars, regarding those that have only listed two titles, the Acolyte and the Skeleton Crew. Three other series were at some point announced to be coming next year. The second and final season of Andor, the third and final season of The Bad Batch, and the second season of Tales of the Jedi. As it's been widely reported, the sag afra strike this summer halted production of the Diego Luna-led series a few weeks before it was set to wrap, and we still don't know if they've been able to resume shooting. Therefore, they may be playing coy about announcing a 2024 date just yet. Note the snow troopers were recently spotted at Pinewood, though. As far as the Bad Batch goes, just last week it seemed like the most likely candidate to be coming out first next year as head writer Jennifer Corbett teased that they were in the middle of their final mixing sessions. Tales of the Jedi is an unknown entity at the moment, since the last update we got from it was back at Celebration, when a press release confirmed a 2024 release window, though didn't elaborate further. This is not a case where they are only listing live action projects, as Marvel Studios did include their upcoming X-Men 97 animated show. Perhaps they're just being cautious about what to confirm. And there you see Jude Law with the children. Skeleton crew. And I think that's Jude Law up there with the kids too. And there's Dave Filoni. Yep, and Kathleen Kennedy. Huh. As far as the order goes, it's impossible to predict. Skeleton, skeleton crew wrapped production months before the Acolyte, although it's possible that they need reshoots and they couldn't do them during the summer because of the strike. For now, all we have are their log lines, which have already been announced. But if you missed them before, here you had them. Star Wars The Acolyte is a mystery thriller that will take viewers into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. Yes, I can't wait. A former Padawan reunites with her Jedi Master to investigate a series of crimes, but the forces they confront are more sinister than they ever anticipated. Sweet. Star Wars Skeleton Crew tells the story of four kids who find themselves lost in the vastness of the galaxy trying to find their way home. Which, on the... One, two, three, four... Okay. And Jude Law. So... Hopefully we'll get some news this month about when to expect either one of these next year. Stay tuned. Uh, my cat. He wants to get the shot too. Come here. Alright, this is Peppermint. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Enough of Peppermint. So, what are your thoughts? I know a lot of people love The Bad Batch and Tales of the Jedi. 
Here I am. The Bad Batch and Tales of the Jedi. Um, I've seen them. I like them. Uh, I'm sad that this will be the last episode or season or the last of the series for the Bad Batch. I'm super excited to see the Acolyte. I think that'll be fantastic. I I can't say it enough. That's the one I've been really looking forward to. And I hope that with the skeleton crew, they don't make it, I, I don't want to say too kiddie, but I guess they're doing it for the kids. I, I, I like a little bit of seriousness with the skeleton crew, but with a bunch of kids, it, it might be kind of tough to make it more adult themed, just to say. But I'll be watching the skeleton crew and the acolyte, and I'm not too, like I said before, I'm not too upset that they pushed Andor to mm, the year after next because it's not even 2024 yet. I'm glad they didn't can any of the shows due to the SAG after strike. I know they pushed some, you know, away for future releases, but they didn't like totally get rid of any of them so far. Well, let me know what you think. If you're watching today on Friday, come to my channel tonight and we'll be watching Apollo 18. It's a sci-fi horror movie. We're doing a live watch. We would love to see you there. Come join us and chat. Ask us some questions or make some comments or whatever. Well, that's it for this video, but come back for more Star Wars and sci-fi content. Black series unboxings. I got it right this time. Black series unboxings, live streams, live watches like we're going to do tonight. I can't wait to see you there. Have a great Christmas. And if you're watching this after Christmas, have a great week or weekend. And may the force be with you always.